Hey guys! So anyways, welcome back with a cook with me. What I'm cooking, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I don't even know, okay? Anyways, so uh, today I'm making the crock pot pizza casserole that I found on Pinterest. I will have that recipe linked below and my um, link to my Pinterest if you guys wanna check out the boards that I pin on Pinterest as well. I'm always on Pinterest pinning stuff and trying new things. I've been doing a meal plan and you guys will see the meal planning that I did for the week of this week. Um, that will be up before this video. But I've just been so into starting to try to meal plan. I've been watching Nicole Burgess and Lemonade Mom. And I'm just like, you know what? I need to do it because I feel like it would make cooking so much easier to know what to cook ahead of time. Grocery shopping easier. And keep us from eating out because sometimes we just eat out a little too much. And it's because sometimes I don't know what to cook. And I think meal planning will make it so much easier. So, anyways, I got this recipe in my kids are excited my husband's excited and i'm excited because i'm just like it looks so tasty from the pictures and it's so simple and it's only a few ingredients it's like one of those cheap dinners that can feed so many people but i'm just like i hope it's really good okay so anyways for the first thing you're going to need for this crock pot pizza casserole is some type of penne pasta and i got this i bought great value stuff just because one i gotta feed six people so anywhere i can save I'm going to say so you can get this box it's a 16 ounce so one pound box of penne pasta from Walmart for like 77 cents I think this was on sale for which is a pretty decent price so I picked up a box of this you're gonna need one box of this you're going to need some pizza sauce and they had different kinds not spaghetti sauce but pizza sauce and I got great value brand and this was only a dollar okay one buckaroo okay so you need two of these well it says two cans for the recipe but i'm gonna do like both of these because i don't want it dry i want to put some on the bottom so i did get these um and like i said they were a dollar a piece and it's just your regular great value brand you're gonna need some mozzarella cheese and i think it does call for the 16 ounce so i think it's going to require this whole bag so i went ahead and bought it just in case but just any type of mozzarella cheese i did get the great value this is like 218 at walmart so definitely already not even at five dollars yet which is pretty good then you're gonna need some pepperonis i'm very picky when it comes to my pepperonis and this is usually the only brand of pepperonis that i buy and that i eat because i feel like other brands don't taste as good um but yeah, and I'm sure that if you don't like these kind of pepperonis, they make, I think, turkey ones, a little bit healthier option. So there's different kinds that you could put in there or make your own or leave out, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, you're going to need some of these and it depends on how many pepperonis you want. I did buy two bags just in case. So I got those because the lady that did the recipe said that she layered hers. So I wasn't sure if that would be enough. And then you're going to need some hamburger meat. You could use whatever preference of your choice. But for me, I got hamburger meat and... That is it. So basically about less than 10 bucks, possibly maybe right at $10. I am making a huge dinner for my family and they're excited. So if you guys want to see how to make this dinner, then just stay tuned. I got this picture in my closet. It's gathering dust right now. And the edges have been folded once or twice. Doesn't look the same no more Cause the sun has made it pale I used to have it hanging on my wall Some time ago A picture of you You're standing by that window Playing your guitar And if I close I can almost hear your song A picture of you
is a picture of you I could talk to you for hours And we stay up all night And when morning came we make breakfast in bed I don't know why The look you had upon your face when I said goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed. This recipe was truly delicious. The only thing that I would probably change is just adding more sauce. Other than that, the recipe was truly delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would